Hey everybody, and welcome back. It's Friday, so it's another Mail Day, Mail Day, Mail Day episode. Where we open everything we've received over the course of another busy week of mail, including a piece of friend mail from Kaz. Let's get that open first. Our old buddy Kaz is always sending us month, uh, cards through the mail. We exchange autographs, help each other with autographs. He sent us a bunch of buckos last week or the week before. Thanks for everything, Kaz! Go check him out. I'll leave a link down to his channel. He's the only one that buys more Josh Kusnick hot packs than I do. There's a Clemente 59, a 56 replica, and a 68. You know what I like. Shanty Lace in a pretty face. Roberto Clemente, Mazeroski. <laughs> Man, thank you, Cause. Really appreciate that. Still has the uh, coating on the top's finest there. Really appreciate that. Appreciate our friendship. And can't wait to meet you someday. Go check out Cause's channel. Cause is wasting money. I don't think he's wasting money. Here we got the envelope of death right here. We care. We care. I don't know. It got chewed up. Looks like it might have a uh, top loader in it. Chewed up in the machine. Yikes. This may be a... Phil Necro autograph. Hopefully the card survived. A couple of these packages, I don't, I forget what's in them. Generally like to mark them when they come in, ju judging by the tracking number and so forth. There it is. Nice hard card. Snap tight. And that certificate of authenticity looks like it got dog-eared. That didn't survive the trip too well, but that's okay. We know that's a real Nuxie autograph. Phil Negro from right across the river, Bridgeport, Ohio. Went to Martin's Ferry High School along with, uh, let's see, his high school teammate, John Havlicek. Believe it or not. Played against Bill Mazeroski. He lost one game his senior year, and that was a 1-0 game. The other pitcher on the other team was a sophomore, I think, named Bill Mazeroski. This was one of the ones I don't know what it is. Let's open it up and find out. Should have a couple more of those Nabisco cards. Thanks, Michael. Uh, coming in some point. Maybe this is it. That Nuxy there was, what did I say? It was $9, but $5 shipping. <laughs> Five for that. Dub Jones, 50 Bowman, rookie card, little postage stamp size card. Hopefully, Dub Jones is still signing. Last time I checked, he was. Famous father of great quarterback, Burt Jones. He's in his mid-90s now, at least. Like to get in on that rookie card? We shall see. Now, that was about $9 and $4 shipping, so $13 delivered for the Dub Jones rookie card. Not a bad deal. This is another one. We don't know what it is. Let's open it up and find out. Ooh, invoice. I like that. I know exactly what it is. Hey, another Deerdorf rookie. In fact, I have one coming. Should be in the mail. Uh, Saturday should get here. Now that we know he's signing, let's, let's really load him up. $10 on that rookie card. Just got that back about a week ago, I guess. Last Thursday, maybe. And look at that. $3 and a dollar shipping. $4.24 tax, $4.24. We'll do that all day long for a decent condition Dan Deerdorf, which that is. Tough to find that centered. $3.22. I bet that was a corner card on the uh, sheet on the top sheet. Okay, this should be the last one. I don't know what it is. We'll find out together. Odd pack job here. This is a uh, Facebook group purchase. Forgot all about this. Oh my. This was uh, $25 total shipped. Gail Goodrich non personalized. Gail Goodrich non personalized. 
Michael Cooper, I remember that was $5. Marcus Camby was like 3 and Rocky Blyer was 5 Maybe all these were 5 It's probably true. All these were probably 5 And uh, 25 delivered, because I know I paid 25 delivered for those. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what the secret is of getting Gail Goodrich. I know the secret now of getting Chris Hamburger, non-personalized, but not Gail Goodrich. And I've got his second year card, a tall boy that I'm very hesitant to send. And uh, maybe it's just like Chris Hamburger. Send a 20 and act nicely in a note. This next one is what? Another Nuxie. Another Nuxie. The Necro boys. I played on the same summer league team. Almost two summers, a summer and a half before I went up to Pennsylvania. Same summer league team as the Negro Boys in Blaine, Ohio. And number 36 was sponsored by Joe Negro. Nice. Uh, that one was... I've got that listed here. That was the one that was $9 plus $505 shipping, $1405. The other one was less than that shipping. More than that on the base price and less shipping. So altogether less fewer dollars I might say this is a tough one because it's taped so well yeah that's a nice one this guy's kind of slipped under my radar over the years no longer no longer 52 Bowman large Les Richter I think he's in the Hall of Fame great player yeah he's in the Hall of Fame Went to California. That's 52 Bowman Large. There's also a 52 Bowman Small. Same card, just smaller. The large is more limited than the small. And I think I might send that to PSA to get it graded. Mr. Richter is no longer with us. Used to be a great signer. After his playing career, he joined the NASCAR circuit, was a team owner, and used to sign NASCAR cards all the, cards all the time. And so I might get that graded because... A Les Richter rookie card, even with a PSA 3, which that probably is. I don't need to put it under the scope to check it out. Pretty well centered. Don't find those centered all the time. The back looks pretty decent. No tape marks or pin marks where kids would put them on their walls. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. 52 Bowman Large. That's his rookie, obviously. Can't get that signed. There are some signed out there, but they go for big bucks. And anyway, what was that cost on that? I forgot to look. $15.50 with free shipping. I'll take that. Really, seriously. I mean, come on. $15.50 for a 52 Bowman Large. In decent condition. Of a Hall of Famer. That guy was talented. Several, several Pro Bowls. Oh, this is taped and glued and everything else melted it looks like it's been hot around here but not hot enough to melt this plastic i don't know how that got melted so that was a box inside of a box <laughs> should be just one card in here ain't nothing gonna happen to it and there's another one it's a patrushka doll Smaller inside of a smaller. Nothing's going to happen to this card. And that good Jim Cott rookie card. We've got this signed several times by Mr. Cott. He's $25 through the mail. Got some little ink stainage on it. Hopefully, maybe that will wear off with a little pantyhose rubbing. But Jim Cott, beautiful 60 rookie card. I love the 60 rookie card and the 59s, frankly. But uh, Jim Cott now has an agent handling his autograph requests. $25. Wait about four weeks, and you will get it back with a beautiful signature. Got a couple of those uh, slabbed up. Speaking of slabs, wait till you see this. From Josh Kuznick. It's not a hot pack. It is another exquisite item from the museum collection of one Josh Kuznick. Mention him all the time because we open his hot packs. It's purchased from his Facebook group. The Kushnik Museum and Prospect Reports. Check it out on Facebook. I always urge you to do that. 
very active. He's having some other giveaways today. I saw where Eddie's Cardboard Chaos just joined and entered into the giveaway, a giveaway that he was having. This is special right here. You may not have heard of this fella. Lee Nudge. Bowman. Authentication. Says it's legit. 2003 Bowman. This fellow was on the Australian national team from 1997 to 2000, I believe, just as a youngster. Born in 83, so he joined the national team at age 14, 15, and 16. Then he was signed by the Dodgers in 2001 as a free agent. Played 01 and 02. This came out in 03 in May. It's the only card he has. And one autographer bought 24 of them, split them among, um, I don't know if it's his brother or his best friend that goes autographing with him, and another guy who had three. The guy who had three, they and um, Lee Newidge signed all 24 cards that day. They met him at some private workout or something. He signed all 24. The person who had three of those has since passed away. And his collection is not being touched by his parents. So those cards are still unaccounted. The other 21 were split pretty evenly between the two friends and two brothers, whoever they were. So one has maybe 11, one has 10. And that is it, as far as we know. Because, sadly, Mr. Newidge passed away uh, rather tragically, walked off a balcony. I don't know if it was a mistake or if it was a suicide, but yeah, he walked off a hotel balcony and was killed just three weeks or so after that set was released. We only know of one autograph seeker who got him on those 24 cards. So I don't know how many of them have been slabbed, but I've got one of them, baby. And I ain't giving it up. That is pretty sweet. Sad story, but uh, nonetheless. And his father has been contacted. His father has a website. Uh, kind of a paying tribute to Lee. So uh, check that out. If I remember, I'll try to leave a link to that as well down below. You can check that out. And his father has actually been contacted by one of the fellows who got the autographs. And they gave his father one of these cards. Uh, for free. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, that's it. What'd you think of the mail day, mail day, mail day? Got some Gail Goodrich uh, non-personalized cards. Got some work to do on the uh, autograph seeking. <laughs> we got some a PSA perhaps send off to get that graded. Don't send too many cards to PSA. Haven't sent one in years, as a matter of fact. So get back on that train. Two Nuxies. What'd you think? Let me know down below. Thanks for listening. What, have you heard of Lee Newidge before, that story? Do you have a Lee Newidge autograph? Boy, if you do, treasure it. And anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, we try to do this every Friday with the Mail Day videos. And we do a couple TTM videos. We always like getting autographs through the mail. So check those out if you can't. And if you missed last Friday's Mail Day vi video, I'll leave a link to that right there. Thanks for being with me today. Have a great weekend, everyone, and we will see you soon.